What's up guys, today I'm checking out FC Kahuna, uh, and this one is titled Hailing, requested by Statistics Jason on Streamlabs, big shout out to you, and before I even say anything else, just by looking at this album cover, I can tell this is about to be an absolute jammer, like something about it, it just screams jammer, like this is about to be some super like, I don't know, atmospheric type of track. Like, I can just tell, just look at this album cover and the colors and everything. It's just, I don't know, it's, it's, it's screaming to me. But uh, yeah, I haven't heard anything from FC Kahuna. And I mean, also by looking at the album cover, it seems like they're more of a modern group, if I had to guess. So real quick, let me just do a little bit of research on them. FC, no, not DLC. Uh, can't type. Um... Here we go. Oh, wait, no, they're not new. Hmm. Okay. Yeah, they're not new at all. Uh, but yeah, FC Kahuna was a British DJ. Oh, wait. Oh, it's a duo. I was about to say, if this is one guy as well, that'd be insane. Um, British DJ and electronic music production duo consisting of John Noel. John Noel and Daniel, Daniel O. Uh, the group released only one album, Machine Says Yes, in the spring of 2002. There were singles for it. Okay. Hmm. Wait, Need for Speed Underground? I don't know. Okay, if it was Need for Speed Underground 2, I was about to say, but yeah, I haven't played, I never played the first one, but the second one was pretty nostalgic for me. Um, doesn't say why they only released one album, I wonder why, especially given that this one received such positive reviews, but uh, yeah, they're from London, uh, genres big beat, what the heck is, bruh. Like, are these even real music genres? Like, what? Big beat, okay? Uh, it's an electric music genre that usually uses heavy break be or break beats and synthesizer generated loops. Okay. Electronica, trip hop, acid house. Okay, I'm definitely understanding and getting more of a mental picture as to uh, what these guys' music sounds like. But uh, yeah. I think the song itself is going to speak louder than words. Let's go ahead and check it out. Just be glad to be 
is pretty sick. Okay, and this is giving off like kind of retro video game vibes this year. Okay, it's always just very uh, interesting to me just hearing the creative, you know, uh, mind at work when it comes to songs like these because like there you have to have a, an extreme level I feel like or extremely high level of creativity to even like begin to think to make songs like these in my opinion like it's just I don't know, it's always mind boggling whenever I hear songs like these and just thinking about like. What was the thought process going into the studio making this song? You know what I mean? But um, yeah, I mean, I enjoyed that. That was that was pretty good. I wouldn't say it necessarily was like something 
that I could see myself listening to a ton of, but I could see myself going back to this one. It was definitely different in, in terms of like, um, like the other, like, you know, like Radiohead songs and whatnot of this caliber that I've listened to, uh, because it had more of like an electronic kind of feel going for it. And with the auto tune, which actually I didn't mind, uh, for this one too much because like it kind of goes hand in hand with the song, but, um, yeah, that was cool though. That was cool. And what was she was saying? She was saying like, um, don't worry about your fears. Just be glad that you're here or something like that. A little bit of, uh, you know, words of wisdom, I guess. But, uh, yeah, that was cool. That was cool. But, uh, yeah, if you guys enjoyed it, hailing, I mean, I don't even know what that means, hailing. But, uh, yeah, if you guys enjoyed it, make sure you smack the like button, subscribe if you're new. That being said, much love, stay safe, and peace out.